Okay, we are going to follow up yesterday's video with three other solutions to our problem in the classroom. Um, in the previous video, we showed one way that you could solve the problem using ratios. So we're going to do it three more ways, just so you can choose which way you would like to do it. So in this case, we set up our problem the same way. We have 27 students. The ratio of boys to girls is 4 to 5. So how many are boys and how many are girls? So if B over G is equal to 4 over 5, we also know that the boys plus the girls is going to equal 27. So here's another way we can work this out. Let's say we have boys to girls is 4 to 5. And we're going to add 1 to both sides. Remember, what we do to one side, we can do to the other. So it's okay to do this because it doesn't change the equation. Well, if we're going to add 1 to this, that's actually going to be g over g. And we're going to add that to our 1. We're going to make it, since we have a common denominator, we'll make it 5. So 5 over 5. So now what we have here, and we're going to use commutative property to switch this around, is b plus g over g, and 4 and 5 is 9, so we have 9 fifths. Well, if you notice this, b plus g looks familiar because we have it over here, b plus g, which is equal to 27. So we're going to go ahead and replace that. 27 over g equals 9 over 5. And then we're going to use our cross multiplication theorem to solve for our answer. So if I make this uh, cross multiply, this becomes g times 9 is equal to 27 times 5. Well, 9g is equal to 135. And 9 times some number is 135, so we can show that as division, or we can multiply it by 1 ninth. And so g is going to be equal to 15. So that's one way, or another way, our second solution is to find out at least one part of the problem. Let's take a look at another way. So if boys to girls is equal to 4 over 5, and we know that boys plus girls is equal to 27. Well, if you would go back to the first video, we determine that B is equal to 4 times U, and G is equal to 5 times U. Well, now we can take this information and plug it into our b plus g equals 27, which would give us 4u plus 5u equals 27. Well, 4u and a 5u is 9 equals 27. And so now, what number times 9 is equal to 27? Well, that would be 3. So now what we can do is plug this back in. If u is equal to 3, then obviously boys is equal to 4 times 3, which is 12. And g is equal to 5 times 3, which is 15. All right, let's take a look at one last solution.
and this uses our trusty number line. So if we have b to g equals 4 fifths and b plus g is equal to 27. Well, if we multiply both these sides by g again, then we have b is equal to 4 fifths g. If we draw a number line, then we could say that girls are equal to five parts. So here is G. We know that if girls are going to be five parts, boys are four parts. So here's our five parts, one, two, three, four, five. Add another four parts, one, two, three, four, and this becomes B plus G. Well, B plus G is equal to what? 27. So if this is 27 and this is zero, how many parts is 27 split up into? Well, that would be nine. So this would be one ninth of 27, which is equal to 3. Well, if this is 3, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 3 times 5 is 15. So that's where we get our 15 girls. And if we have 4, the boys. is equal to 3 times 4, which is 12. So that means that our girls are 15 and our boys are 12. So that's our fourth and final solution.